Welcome to another little tutorial. Uh, in this one, we're going to do this um, Smashing Pumpkins video assignment. What's cool about this one, I don't know if people have used uh, chroma keying. Uh, most people know it as green screen. So this uses green screen, uh, sometimes blue screen. Um, but anyways, we're going to use a bunch of this. There, uh, right on the assignment, it has got a link, so it goes to a Google Drive, I've already opened it, and it's got a whole bunch of, I think there were like 12 takes. So what happened was the band went into the studio, they uh, went through the song a whole bunch of times, That but I don't know that if they did 12 takes, but they had a couple cameras. One was doing the uh, guitars, one was doing the bass, one was doing the drums, one was doing the singer, and they did a take. So they got had three or four, four actually keys as well, so five different takes uh, of that one. Then they went through the song and did a tight take, so they started getting close-up takes. Uh, and, they, and so they've got all 12 of these, or 13, or I don't know, I think there's an extra singer take or whatever. So, what we want to do is we want to take those green screen takes. This was, in a, this was actually a uh, contest over, so well, coming up on 12 years ago now. So, I submitted one. This is the one that uh, me and a friend of mine made. Um, a lot of the stuff that we did for hours, like it, it said you had to have original content. I bought the album, Zeitgeist, and it has a whole bunch of the things that you see in the video, um, in the background, like that guy, the scary guy with the thing, uh, multiple television screens. So we went with this television, whoops, there goes the album, the scary kids television screens. So we went with this idea of television and media with Zeitgeist being the spirit of the times that was kind of the direction that we took. Um, I don't know, our edit of it. And looking back on it, we did so much, oh there's that scary guy. Anyway, um, looking back on it, we did so much work, because each of these little guys right here, one, two, oops, they're gone, um, all those little characters in the front, each are a different track, that, or a, a video track that we brought in and put there, and then we had to mask out, you'll see on the video there's like additional people so we had to mask out the extra drummer and we had to mask out the two extra guitar players so I think we spent like a full weekend and I slept over at my friend's house and we just worked on this non-stop for like two or three days like Friday night all of Saturday and all of Sunday uh, to put this together Anyway, we're going to have a couple weeks. Hopefully it's equivalent in time. I don't know if we'll be able to come up with something. Maybe we can come up with something like this good. I find it good. We didn't win. A lot of the animation stuff that we did in this video was like After Effects stuff. It wasn't After Effects. I, I feel like uh, we used Final Cut Pro. So whatever the Final Cut Pro equivalent of After Effects is. Maybe it is After Effects. I I can't remember. It was... So 12 years ago we said... I, I guarantee you don't know what you were doing 12 years ago. So, anyway, we want to come up, make some type of video. You can take it in whatever direction you want. Okay, one thing to notice... Um, in music videos... A good way to switch scenes is on a drum hit or something big. That's what we did. Another thing that we try and do, you might notice it coming up. Every time there's a cymbal hit, we, uh, we invert the colors. 
and so it kind of goes white. Just something you can try, you don't have to try. Uh, also on the assignment, so anyways, that was the one we made. Also on the assignment is the one that won the contest. If you watch this, I, I would watch it after because I watched it and I, I was thinking, there's no way anyone can make anything as good as this. This is so good. This should have been the official video because it is unbelievable. I don't know who made this one, but this is the one that won and then they released it. They, I thought at the time they were cheating because they only released half of a video, but then after they released the full video, and this one is absolutely amazing. They used almost like that idea of the light trails that we did in our photography unit. Anyway, unbelievable. I don't, I, I don't even know how they did that. So, um, what we're going to do, once we've downloaded all this footage, I'm going to start up a new one. I'm going to call this... My iDrive is kind of like the student data drive, so I'm going to say OK. Now, the only, we usually pick 1080i or 1080p um, and 30 frames per second. What I would choose for this one is 720. And so I'm going to choose that, but I'm going to also show you why. Uh, because this contest I'm going to go to my website here. Uh, because this contest was almost 12 years ago now, the video is in, it's even, I don't even know if it's in 480. So it is small. If we, if we set ours up to 720, it's even going to be small and we're going to have to increase it, which we learned in our Photoshop unit, if we increase a photo, it becomes pixelated, right? That's what's going to happen here. Um, if we chose 1080p, we've got this tiny picture that we're increasing here. It's going to be super pixelated. Uh, and that kind of shows you the new uh, 4K, HD 4K, is that much bigger than even the 1080p. So... It's kind of neat. Uh, I found this picture on the internet and I really like how it shows the different sizes. Okay, so we've got all this here. We, I have downloaded already all the audio or all the video. Here is all the video clips. Now I don't really like because these tight ones, or sorry, the tight ones are good. The wide ones I don't like as much because they're so small. Uh, I'm going to import them all, and I will show you what I mean. I'm going to try and get um, the singer take. Now, again, it's going to ask us this. This clip does not match the sequence setting. Do we want to change it to match the clip, or do we want to leave it how it is. We want to keep our existing settings. We're going to try and, and there's what I mean. Like, see, this one is 480 or less, and this screen size would be 720. So we're going to eventually try and increase this. Uh, but first, let's do all our importing. Got drums, drums, and drums. Okay. Now, when the Smashing Pumpkins came back, um, only two of the members were original members. So that's why there are more. Uh, it's the drummer and the lead singer. So that's why there are more drummer and lead singer tracks than there are anybody else, is because of that. Um, Generally, when you make a music video, well, not you, uh, but generally when people make a music video, the lead vocalist, whether you agree with this or not, I don't know, um, 
get is on there for like 60% screen time and the rest of the band collectively is in there for only about 40% uh, of the screen time. So I don't know. Uh, you can you can follow that or not follow that. I think with the Smashing Pumpkins, they probably follow that. Um, one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to lock all these video settings because one thing that we want to do when we import these each clip so up here are our video tracks right down right down here are our are, are audio tracks um, it almost looks like the singer take is different for some reason anyway uh, what I'm going to do is, maybe I'll keep this other one then. Uh, I'm going to go through each of these, and I'm going to... Let me see. We don't need... I'm going to delete... A whole bunch of the audio. I maybe I'll keep this singer wide one. Now nah, maybe I'll keep a singer tight one. So the thing is, the reason why I've locked all the video, well, I gotta lock this one, is because if I hit delete on the audio, this audio goes with that video up there, and a lot of the time they're linked together by locking the video. I can go through and delete the audio. And the reason why I'm deleting it is it's all the same thing. So if I look over here and hit play, like that was redlining huge. It was, uh, my speakers were going nuts there, whoops. So I'm gonna go through and delete, 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 delete. So now for audio, I could even go in and delete the whole track. Ooh. Okay. Um, but that doesn't matter too much. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to, because I've only got one audio track, I am going to minimize that. And now when I play it, there, that's a little bit better. It was still, if you can see, it was still redlining. Bands, when they uh, master their work, they get it uh, so that it is as close to zero as possible. So, So, uh, because it's hitting zero there, that's probably okay. Uh, I am going to... You can make this a little bit bigger. And then you can... Yeah, in the one last video I said I didn't like how you couldn't see the wave file there. I ended up doing this and was playing with this uh, green screen in Premiere. And I noticed that you can, which is way nicer, which is it helps you out. The one thing now that I don't like, and maybe I'll figure it out between now and the next video, is if I want video 6 higher than video 9, I can't switch a whole video track, which I don't really like that. And maybe you don't know why you would do that, but at the end of this video, you might know why. So now we're not redlining over here. Okay. Uh, so that's the first thing. We've imported all our stuff. We've got our nice video tracks here. I can fit all of my video tracks on there. Now, what's happening? This is why I was saying you might want to switch video 9 to the top, is because right now, with these eyeballs on, you can. When I turn all these eyeballs off, it's not changing what's up there. If I turn this top one off, 
it changes what's up there. So it only shows what's up on top. Everything else is like a layer behind it and you can't see it. Kind of like our layers in Photoshop. So I might want to move something higher than that layer, especially once we get to uh, green screening this stuff. But as far as I can see, there is not a way. So the next thing that we want to do, and that's what I'm talking about, the wide ones, they aren't as clear. Like, they're okay, but they're not super clear. As the close-up ones are much better. Now, I, I've been locking the other video and coming in here and making these ones bigger. So the way that you can do that is you just lock the pr the ones above it so that you're not selecting those because for some reason if you don't do that it still sometimes likes to select that other layer. So if you lock that one then you can't move it and oops this one's locked as well. Unlock the one below it and then you can increase those up. So I'm going to go through and do that for each of my tracks here and maybe I'll fast forward it so that you don't have to sit and watch me do all that. <laughs> So I've got all my tracks bigger. They're the size of the uh, 720p uh, that I've got going on, uh, screen size up at the top. Now, you may not like the wide ones. I don't really, maybe you love the wide ones and you wanna do something like where you're masking and trying to put the whole bands in there. I would uh, search up on YouTube how to apply a mask it's going to be a lot of work because you're going to have to apply a mask, a, a different mask to each of the uh, video files to crop out. Like if you didn't want this drummer who's not the actual drummer and who sometimes doesn't really know what he's playing, um, you may want to crop him out. I've often thought after doing this, it would be cool. And if you have no idea, maybe you want to do this to do a video that features all the non-actual members, like feature this guy, because this guy looks super cool, uh, but he's not always playing the right thing, but maybe you could pan away to a different scene um, during when he's not playing the right thing. So anyway, you can take this uh, uh, activity in whatever direction you want. What I would do now, some people, get a little bit worried because they've got all these tracks now. So what I'm going to do is with all these tracks, some people are sometimes lost with what to do. I'm going to add a couple video tracks. Now I don't need any audio tracks. So I'm going to say I, I don't need any audio tracks, zero audio tracks. Um, and I just want one video track. I'm going to actually add a couple of them just in case I get two cool parts. And you can pick where they go as well. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first go through and watch the drums. So same thing with audio editing. By the end, you're gonna have listened to the song so many times, you're almost sick of the song. Um, but I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna watch the drummer because there are some parts that are going to be super cool. Like maybe that's kind of cool how it zoomed in on them there. The one problem with this drummer... I kind of like that. So the one problem with this drummer is he's super good. And so he just makes it look too easy. So sometimes drummers who are not as good, 
that are going crazy and working really hard and, and breathing heavy and stuff like that look like they're doing way more just because they're having such a hard time. This guy, it, like that, even that uh, snare roll at the beginning for a lot of drummers is quite hard to do. Uh, but for him, he's having such an easy time that it kind of looks boring. Okay, so I am going to zoom in on this here. And this is pretty cool. So I'm going to cut from here. And I like switching on a symbol, so I'm going to cut there. I'm going to make sure this magnetic snap is on because then when I bring this up here if you see it kind of snaps to that timestamp so I, I've already got this clip that I think is pretty cool that I want these are gonna be like my keeper I could rename these as well uh, oop, keep here keeper shots I don't know whatever you want um, so I've got that I'm going to keep going. See, he's good, but he looks bored. The fills are awesome. Those fills are amazing, though. So I'm going to try and get those. I'm going to cut right here. might have been just past the uh, snare hit, but whatever, you can play around with getting it right on. Um, here's another fill. I'm going to cut right here. That one wasn't as cool, but I'll add it. And the reason why I'm, I've set these up here is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the clips that are kind of cool up here, and then I might go through the bass player, grab some of the clips that are kind of cool up there, and I might use the singer as my bass. So if I were to watch what I've done so far, I'll come right before here, and what I'll do... Um, is I will turn off this and I'll turn on one of the singer ones. That one's okay. Let me see what this one looks like. Yeah, I'll go with this one. So if I fast forward it a little bit. See, already it's got that clipping. And see, the timing there was okay. I would like it right as he's hitting it to switch back to the singer. That'd be even cooler. So I would have to play and zoom in and cut maybe a little bit more off that. But even with just those two... It's already looking better that we're not just sitting on the singer here and maybe having some background going on. We're flashing to the drummer. Uh, once I add the bass player in there, then I'll be flashing from the singer to the drummer to the bass player. So anyways, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll keep going and get some good drummer clips here, and then I'll show you what I mean, I, and we'll do some of the chroma keying. So I'm going to come back to here. right as it zooms in there I got it right on that one was perfect ah, I'm 
it was boring. Ooh, that one's pretty cool. Wow, that one was super cool. Uh, would it be neat? I'm gonna grab this whole bit, but when he's doing the build up, dan 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 dan, dan and then switch back to something else for the little middle bit, and then back to him for the dan dan dan. dan. Guitars. Definitely, we need some guitars here. Actually, that was kind of cool. It's like he wasn't even looking. Oh! That was pretty cool. I want that in there. Oh! I'm just pushing back and forth on the uh, keypad to try and find the exact spot that I want. Uh, once I've got it, I'm going to cut that. If I wanted to be super precise, I could do that this way too to find it. Boom! Back. And drag that up here, snapping into place. That was pretty cool. Anyway, that is how I would go about editing it. Now, if you want to skip the wide scenes, skip the wide scenes. But, this is like... Smashing Pumpkins are one of the U.S.'s biggest bands, uh, and they're not as big now, but still, when you think of all the bands throughout time the, uh, from the U.S., Smashing Pumpkins are up there. They were a huge 90s band, even, uh, even uh, had some hits like this one in the 2000s. They paid all these people to be at this video shoot, so you don't want to completely ignore the bass player or completely completely ignore uh, the singer unless there's some type of thing that you're going for and you want to let me know about that um, so you want to try and get at least a little bit of each person in there I know even in here it looks like and not that this person is less important but there's only one keys shot so there we'd probably have less keyboards um, guitars, there's definitely that solo. We want to get the guitars into the solo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. And I'm going to mix down a green screen of, of a couple clips. Just so I can show you how to, what to do with the green screen. So if you want to, you can watch my green screen video first and apply the green screen to each of these. But then you're going to be seeing the other scenes in the background and I'll show you what I mean in a little bit so this might be the easiest way to edit is first pick the scenes from each of the video that you like that you want in your music video and then what we'll do is we'll apply the green screen and do some type of backgrounding so I'm gonna work on that I'll be back in it'll be like a second for you uh, and I may not make the best edit but I'll just come up with something and then I'll show you about this green screen.
Okay, part two. So I've mixed down all my clips that I put together. I exported it as an AVI because it showed a little preview up in the corner as I was exporting it. And it the AVI looked like it had the, uh, I don't know, the clearest video. So there was a, as little compression. It made a big file and it took a little bit. So if we're doing this in class, we might want to come back at lunch and hit uh, render and then just let it work throughout the course of lunch and maybe uh, into period three because there's no classes in there in period three. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my audio. So this has got my audio and my video and you can kind of see I didn't do what everything that I would like like I don't fully like that beginning but whatever I clip to the there's our bass player shot our guitarist our drummer back to vocalist a lot of vocalists drummer 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 switch Anyway, so it's kind of going through and panning for a bunch of them. Now I mixed it down to make this next step a little bit easier because I want to show you a video effect. Um, maybe, actually I'm going to move this up a track here to video two. Same thing. I didn't really change anything. Um, I'm going to go in here to, I just got to find it again. Where did I put it? Keying. There it is. Keying. Now, in uh, normally I would use a chroma key or a blue screen key. Those didn't seem to work, or the color key. What seemed to work best was this. Oh, I don't know if you can see it here because I'm in the way. Give me a second. What seemed to work best is the ultra key down at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the ultra key and I'm going to drag it to my video. I'm going to apply it to this video. Now when I click up here, oops, effect controls. Now here is my ultra key. I want to eliminate not this color. I want to eliminate the green. So now the green is gone. It has gone through and it's kind of applied some general um, some general I don't know uh, default settings here to it now normally when I do the uh, chroma keyer it I don't know. It it allows me to only adjust a couple things, and it's the outer outer uh, glow of it and how much of it is being seen and everything. So this one's got a whole bunch more settings: uh, spill su suppression, uh, this uh, mat cleanup generation. So we can go through and play with a bunch of those. But so far, right now, I can't really tell what's happening. So what I want to do is I want to bring in a background, and I will show you a couple ways to download a background. If you're, oh, this is uh, my page. I posted a couple student videos. These are some of the grade 12s. What they did was they searched, it looked like psychedelic backgrounds. Maybe space. So they spent more time grabbing some space backgrounds there was the one this one went with more of a psychedelic look which is kind of neat and that one's just one background anyway um, that looks pretty cool Anyway, this is where your own style comes in, where you can kind of set this up and make it look however you want. Now, 
I did, I, I have so many ideas for how I would want to redo this video. Um, with the idea of the television, like I was saying before, I might want to pull up all the past Smashing Pumpkin videos. Um, I don't know. Oh, or you can make it a, a res Smashing Pumpkin video with your uh, resurrection commercial in the background. There's so many different things that you could do. Uh, you could just put them in like a, a cool small venue where the pumpkins usually now play uh, big things. But what I did was I, it's got this here. I was actually, it's funny that this is up, I guess because it's tarantula. But uh, I just Googled tarantula and I downloaded a video. Now, this is a little bit iffy. There's a thing called savefrom.net. And um, you can download YouTube videos from YouTube. Now, it can't always do it. If it's a live stream video, you can't download live streamed videos. But if I wanted to download this video here, suppose it was a great video. I would go to the video. I would copy the URL. I would paste it in here, and as long as that guy didn't live stream his video, it will come, a download link will show up. Now, savefrom.net works. I've used it uh, quite a bit with when I've been editing and stuff like that and need to grab some video that people have shared with me. There it is. So the highest quality one is 720. You could download 360. Uh, and download right there and it would be in an mp4 format the mp3 I don't know if that works I think that takes you to a different site and it wants you to do something else but if I wanted this who's a good girl spider video I could download that and I could incorporate that um, it might be blocked at school I'm not sure it does have pop-up sometimes which um, yeah so I'm not saying it's the most amazing thing. Anyways, I did use that and I downloaded some, a background video. It is in with my Smashing Pumpkins downloads right here, spiders. Now the reason why I moved this video up to number two is because let's suppose that track is number one and I put this over top. All I'm seeing is the spiders. Right? So I would have to bring this down here and I'm gonna lock this for a minute because I wanna delete. Um, I want to delete this audio. And now, because I've applied that green screen, in the background here is all that spider stuff. Now, it might not be exactly perfect to how we want, You might need to go and edit the background as well, but it's got some spider stuff in the background. If there's any foreground clips I don't like, I could just go to the spider for a little bit. That looks kind of cool. Oh, I don't know if I like it saying... Uh, a particular location there but you can you can go and you can edit parts out of the background and things like that or you could pick a whole different background there's one part I think I saw it was eating a, a mouse or a rat which I don't know if people know Smashing Pumpkins but one of their uh, most popular songs some people call it rat in a cage um, 
you can uh, anyways uh, it's a little bit ironic that the tarantula is eating the rat it's actually called bullet with butterfly wings but anyway um yeah and then you could just go through now in this i think that the timing was a little bit less yeah so i would have to somehow adjust because as i get to the end of my video here my background is just gonna oh i don't even like that national geographic uh, whatever. So, let me. I kind of like that with the spider up, but now I got a person here. I don't like that. I like the spider. National Geographic. But that's the thing. Whatever is in behind, what what the chroma key was able to do was take out all the green and now you're only seeing the video that's in behind it there which is very cool so you can put whatever background you'd want in there and it would show up behind the people and that's what it, in a lot of green screen uh, is in movies and things like that star wars the newer ones uh had a whole ton of green screen um and uh so, so yeah, you get to kind of pick how you want to set up this video, how what you want in the foreground, what clips you want in the background, and after a while you might get sick of this track um, because of all that. I've listened to this song, I don't know, so many times. And I'm going to have to listen to it when, when I'm marking it too. So anyways, if you want to go through, there are so many more options here. Uh, transparency, you can see it's kind of making them... Ooh, that kind of actually gives it a super cool effect. Wow. I don't know if, if for the whole thing, but... You can just kind of play around with those. That was me just adjusting the transparency there. Um, so, kind of going. And you could cut this up. You could set up um, marker points throughout it and kind of fade the transparency in and out. There is so much that you can do. Um, and again, highlight, shadow, I'm not sure exactly how these will go about. But it's all a, a lot of, to do with the green from the room. If there is some type of shadow or around his person, uh, shadow of the green, you can kind of fade that in and out based upon, um, I don't know, uh, the, based upon how much you kind of drag and drop in. Um, so I would, I would play around with these, see what you can uh, put together for your tarantula video.